divine queens and divine kings. How y'all doing? Everything all right? Good. It's all right with me. Anyway, I got some message. <laughs> um, yeah, let me tell y'all about my dream. I had another dream. <laughs> I was dreaming, and... Um, there was this voice or this man it was like in a dark and he was talking to me and i'm like this man don't sound right you know what i'm saying this is my dream so i don't know but anyway he's speaking to me trying to speak game to me or something and i'm like hold up this don't sound right you know what i'm saying <laughs> i'm sleeping and stuff i know this is not real he started getting like more seductive with me like trying to get me home or something. I don't know what he was trying to do, but something started telling me to say Jesus, right? So I started saying Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And this person, the person's voice was like, uh, like got mad. And I was like, praise God. You know, I just saw saying, throwing all this um, praises at him. I don't know, um, words of God. And the thing started going in the dark. And I'm looking like this mother lover is evil. <laughs> and I kept on saying Jesus. And the thing was like, but you said you're my king. I'm your king. And I was like, Jesus. And it went away and I woke up. I was like, oh, my God. Like, this shit is real out here. Y'all keep playing. This stuff is real. But anyway, I got some information. Yeah. That makes me go in meditation even more. I'm like, yo, stuff is really trying to attack me. Like, get out of here with that. I'm too blessed up. <laughs> I pray too much. Like, I'm well guarded by God. And my ancestors, thank God. You know, they have faith back then, and we still got faith now. We eat that mustard seed, and we get really godly faith. Anyway. All right, so because God is so great, and powerful, which should never be defeated. You, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> That's why I roll with him. Because his words is bond. I have to roll with him. His word is bond. God is exalted. The devil is a liar. We should never be defeated. If things is not nourishing to your soul, leave it alone. I already said that. You know, I'll go around a couple people... I don't know, I might chill with them. I don't want to be feeling like I'm a loner in this world. So I still got my friends, associates. I still go around them, but I'm still getting my spiritual thing going on, you know? Learning me, believing in me, and trusting me. Anyway. Yeah, stay away from negative energy. Keep that high vibration. Keep happy laughing. Release negative people if they're not, like I said, nourishing to your soul. Not just what you look like. Like, oh, you look good. That's just ego talk. <laughs> Break that ego talk down. That that doesn't last. You need stuff for your soul. You need people to build your soul up. Because at the end of the day, when we leave this body, this prettiness, the cuteness and all of that, we still need that soul to go on. <laughs> Our soul never die, mate, people. That's why you need not to be laying down with a whole bunch of people because they, too, lay down with a whole bunch of people. And then it comes back to you, and you wonder why you feel a certain way. Y'all wonder why, like, you just get this, you know, that weird energy, that negative energy. That's all devil, devilish energy. And I'm trying to stay away from that. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not having sex until I find my partner. And me and him is on that spiritual journey. Oh, yeah. And um, the one that broke my heart, I told him it was a spiritual connection. But he act like I was crazy or something. But that's all right. He has his own free will. Everybody got their own free will. You do what you want to do. Whatever make you happy, baby. Because I'm going to make do whatever make Keisha happy. Straight up. But I run my <laughs> back to this. <laughs> yeah, there's a time for everything. It's a time to get serious. It's a time to play. You know, 
we gotta figure our stuff out for ourselves. It's in us. We just gotta research. And um, if you wanna be a better person, bring God with you, you know? Um, get, learn yourself, like I said, go within. Um, you can't take people on your journey. Everybody's not gonna go on this journey with you in life, period. I tell my kids that all the time. Oh, those are my friends. That's high school friends. My friends that I know in high school, I say what's up to them on the internet. Like, my life go on. I can't keep, I can't bring everybody with me where I'm going. Where I need to go, everybody's not going to be able to go there. And I recognize that. I realize that right now. But some people might, but not everybody. And I don't care who's not coming, because as long as I'm going to get there, <laughs> as long as I'm going to get my success, my abundance, my blessing, you know, and my kids, you know, they get whatever I put out in this world, which is good. They get good back. And stay on your ground. Have boundaries. You can be kind. People be like, oh, well, Keisha, you're this and you're that because the way I talk, because I want to put boundary and value in my life. You're not going to keep on walking over me. I'm not a doormat for nobody, <laughs> only for the Lord. He could use me, but I'm not letting nobody else use me. No, I refuse to. So I'm going to love myself, and I'm going to put everything in myself. I'm not going to be selfish. I'm just going to love myself more. I'm not putting people in front of me. It's whatever I feel. It's whatever I want to do. Who I want to love. Yeah. But um, it's been 6 minutes and 41 seconds. I hope you guys learned some stuff from this. All I'm here to do is try to spread some good news, inspire people, you know, to do a little good for this earth. Hope I look good doing it, too. <laughs> but I love you. God love you. You already know that. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye.